good morning everyone and happy Friday. Welcome to our Friday assembly, um, our celebration assembly. And um, today, before we start our assembly, I just want us to take a moment just to stop and to think and reflect on some of the things we talked about last week. So I'm just going to pop a candle up here. You might want to close your eyes. You might want to look at the candle as we just sit and reflect. What I'd like you to think about is somebody who this week has been really kind to you. Think about what they've done and think about how it made you feel. Last week we talked about throwing kindness around like confetti. We said, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Who's been kind to you this week? Have you remembered to say thank you to them? And if you haven't, Maybe you could do that today. And what have you done this week to show kindness to somebody else? That's great. Okay, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my very favourite subject. I've got the t-shirt and everything. Growth mindset and I'm going to be focusing today on this part of growth mindset that says I can over I can overcome challenges with effort and you know this morning I was thinking about growth mindset as I had my breakfast because for my breakfast I had an egg for breakfast and I had an egg in a pan and I cracked my egg into the pan and as I cracked it into the pan and looked at it I thought, do you know what? This reminds me a little bit about growth mindset. So what I've done is I've made a picture of my egg for you. And it looks like this. Okay. And what I want my egg to remind you of today is that every time we do something, we're in a certain zone. So the, the yolk of our egg is like what I would call our comfort zone. And then the white of our egg is what I'm gonna call our stretch zone. When we're in our comfort zone, this is where we find things really, really easy. Where we maybe say, I'll do just enough. I've been given this bit of work, I can get away with doing just enough. I'll choose the easiest task today. Maybe I won't put my hand up today. Our comfort zone. And we are all in our comfort zone sometimes, and there's good reasons for being in our comfort zone. But what I want you to focus on this week, children, is being in what I would call the white of our egg, which is your stretch zone. And this is the zone where you stretch your brain. Now, we all know from what we've been taught in school that our brain is a muscle, and you can exercise your brain, you can stretch your brain, and you can make it bigger. And by making it bigger, it means that you can take on more learning. So that's what we're going to try and do this week coming up, okay? So to be in your stretch zone, it's the time when you say, I'll try something new. Year one yesterday, they, lots of them said they didn't like pears. But, they, but because Miss Wood was trying pears, they tried it. They tried something new and lots of them really liked it. But do you know what? It didn't matter whether they liked it or not. They tried it. They stretched themselves. They came out of their comfort zone. I want to try a new challenge. When you say, how can I make this harder? And something's easy in your class. And you say to your teacher, actually, this is too easy for me. Can you make it harder for me? Let's try and do that this week. When we say we can't do something yet, but we know we will be able to. I'm going to learn something new. Lots of people have learnt new things. I learnt new things this week when I watched um, the David Attenborough programme all about our planet. I can grow my brain. 
So our stretch zone. There's another zone that I've put around the outside because when I fried my egg this morning, there was kind of a frazzled bit around the outside um, where it had got kind of extra cooked. And I call that the frazzled zone or the panic zone. Because actually sometimes if we stretch our brains too much, it can take us into panic. And that's when we start to panic. And if we feel like that, we need to do things that we can to move ourselves back into our stretch zone or sometimes just go back into our comfort zone just for a little bit of time. So that's what I want you to focus on this week, children, is your growth mindset and being in your stretch zone. Now, all of the children who have been awarded with the Growth Mindset Awards have had to be in their stretch zones this week. So let me just go through who we've got this week. So in class LB, it goes to Holly. She's the Growth Mindset Champion because she's found column subtraction really tricky, but she persevered, she listened to feedback and she produced fantastic work. Well done, Holly. What a star. Okay, in class EW this week, it goes to Freddie. And Freddie's demonstrated a brilliant growth mindset this week. It's been amazing to see Freddie in school every day with a smile on his face. He's made brilliant progress when contributing to class discussion. Freddie doesn't always find it easy to come into school, but he's really, really come out of his comfort zone and done his best. In class DB, it goes to Olivia for helping another child out of her fixed mindset. So while they were at the woods, she helped another child who was worried about climbing up a bank. First of all, she reassured them that it would be okay, and then she went back and she showed them how to climb. So she demonstrated that mindset and actually helped the other child out of their fixed mindset where they wanted to be in their comfort zone. Class JA, first week of a JA growth mindset, goes to Grace. Because Grace, even though she's only four, she explained that school is a place where you exercise your brain and help it grow. Just what I was saying about being in a stretch zone. Okay, in class RC, we have Mason. Mason has persevered in his maths this week. He's worked really hard to tackle some tricky questions using, using column and subtraction. Mason didn't give up even when he found things difficult. So he didn't go back into his comfort zone. He stayed in his stretch zone. He also encouraged other children in the class to keep persevering too. In class PO, this week it goes to William for being an amazing friend, inspiring other people to join in by making him his own new games in involving lots of friends. So that was just lovely, William. Well done. And class KS, this week it goes to Layla. Layla's worked extremely hard this week with Mrs Burgess and tried really hard to be more focused and independent in her lessons. And that's important in your stretch zone. Sometimes when you're in your comfort zone, you want to just rely on the adults to help you. But Layla has stretched herself and become more independent. And in class LF, it goes to Blue. Blue's had a brilliant attitude towards his work this week. He's always listening, wants to share his opinions and asks for help when he needs it. His maths work on multi-step addition and subtraction word problems was very carefully done, taking the time to listen to the advice of his teacher. So a big well done to all those children who have the Growth Mindset Awards this week. Okay, our three C's award for care, consideration and courtesy. I've seen an awful lot of care, consideration and courtesy this week. Um, but the two children that I've chosen this week are George Tidman for... Now, this was a lovely one. Okay, so George learned, has been learning to swim and he managed to swim a width. And for, work, for, for swimming his width, he received some money. But instead of spending the money on himself, he decided he'd rather spend it on cakes and flowers for the care home. So he went down to the belfry with cakes and flowers. What an absolutely lovely thing to do. And I'm sure they were very, very grateful. 
I'll be popping down there later with some more gifts that some of our children have, have bought for them. But that's lovely, George. Particularly lovely that you went there yourself and actually delivered them yourself. And secondly, I'm really proud to be able to award our second head teacher award to one of the children in JA. And it goes to Jensen. Because even though Jensen's only just had a week or so in school, without being asked, he held the door open for Miss Fletcher and Mrs Tapley this week, which we thought showed fantastic manners and great courtesy. So a big well done to you, Jensen. Birthdays this week. Today, Junior's birthday today. Have a great day today, Junior. At the weekend, Harry and J.A., it's your birthday. And then on Monday, we have Florence and Elsie. Tuesday, Lewis Watts, it's your birthday. And Wednesday, Charlie Ferber. So wishing you all a really, really happy birthday for this week coming. Hope you have a fantastic time. We're going to finish our assembly with our Lord's Prayer. And as always, you can join in the actions with me. You can just close your eyes. You might want to just focus on my candle as we say our Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 